Imagine you are a mad scientist, and you have the power to create different types of molecules and structures by combining different atoms. But before you can start creating, you have to understand the building blocks of all matter. Atoms Atoms are tiny particles that make up everything around us. Think of them like the pieces in a set of building blocks. Just like those blocks come in different colors and shapes, atoms also come in different types called elements. For example, oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen are all elements. Now that you know about atoms, let's start building. First, we will start with the simple molecules, like ammonia and methanol. These are made up of only a few atoms, usually less than 10. For example, to create a model of ammonia, you would need three atoms of hydrogen and one atom of nitrogen. When you put these atoms together, you can see the way the atoms are arranged, and this is the structural model of ammonia molecule. To model these types of molecules, you can use different techniques, such as drawing, 3D ball and stick structures, or computer representations. Next, we will move on to more complex structures, like sodium chloride and diamonds. These are made up of many atoms, typically more than hundreds or even thousands of atoms. To model these types of structures, you can use similar techniques as you did for simple molecules, but on a larger scale and more complexly. Table salt, for example, is a complex structure. To create a model of sodium chloride, you would need one atom of sodium and one atom of chlorine, and repeat it many times until the crystal structure is complete. And, by looking at the structural model of sodium chloride, you can understand how it's composed of these simple elements, and how it gives its unique properties. It's important to note that these models are simplified representations of actual molecules and structures, but by using them, you can have a general idea of how different types of atoms are arranged to form these different types of molecules and structures. Remember, atoms are the building blocks of all matter. Simple molecules usually have only a few atoms, while complex molecules have many many more. To build a model of molecules, you can use simple drawings, ball and stick models, or even computer renderings.